Hey everybody, welcome to, well, in reality, part 2 of the Horton HO229 build. Um, yeah, I was planning on filming the whole build, but it's kind of complex, so I'll just, just do some build update videos and maybe when I get to the end where the bigger parts go on, the outer shell and stuff like that. I might film that, I'm not sure yet. So, I've done the first eight pages of the build. And like I said, it's really complex. Um, finished one engine. Ooh. Need to do some, some work on it. Uh, it's really shiny, super shiny. So the camera doesn't really like this. Um, yeah, I kind of deviated from the paints in the instruction manual. I used uh, Vallejo metal color, uh, aluminium instead of the silver. Oop, let me get it in shot. And some uh, burnt iron and exhaust manifold. Uh, my personal preference, really. Let me get that there. So, I built this one first to see how the thing went together and then I planned uh, to film building the second one. Like I said, it's it's too complex. Uh, all the piping has to go through and over and under each other and stuff like that. So it's really uh, focus, focus on the thing. It's really difficult to build. So I we'll try and get some decent pictures of this um, thing I've noticed there's a huge seam line going on there and I already constructed most of it before I painted this so yeah I didn't pay much to, en enough attention to that so the second one that clearly isn't stuck together Let's fix that. Should be. It's been drying for over 24 hours now. Go together. Same there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna fill it and send it out. So the seam line will be gone. I don't think you'll see much of the engine eventually, but it just annoys me. Uh, there's also a seam on the other part. But I think we can get away with that one. This will be way too difficult to fix because of all the wires that are uh, molded in here. If I were to sand that I would destroy all the detail. So, choices, choices. Yeah, I also made a start on the on the inner frame. I'm not sure what they call it. Fuselage frame. Uh, also very complex, very fragile. Uh, all sorts of tiny pieces of plastic that link together, go through gaps in the frame. Uh, there's this silver one, which is really difficult to see on camera. You have to wriggle it, wriggle it through the frame and then attach it at some points and it took me half an hour to get it in the correct position so yeah it's really really fiddly uh, but I think it's nice it's it's something different for a change I mean usually every Aircraft is just paint the cockpit, slap the two fuselage halves together, and you're done, basically. Unless you get the very big uh, 
like spitfires and stuff with all the radio uh, bits in there but still you're still just attaching the fuselage, fuselage halves hmm and there's also a correction in the uh, instruction sheet uh, that is the, this part I think originally they put it in here at first but you have to attach it to parts that go in the frame later so yeah keep an eye on that um, so this needs to dry uh, because I've been gluing a lot and then I can continue with the machine gun assembly that's that's something yeah hmm. I don't know I don't really care for weaponry on aircraft but in this case it should go in there um, so the engine I painted with the metal Vallejo Vallejo metal paints and all the frame parts I've used uh, model air and I primed them with ultimate primer I did film a review thing on this but apparently I really suck at doing review videos so yeah I've been that um, it's really nice stuff uh, it, 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 it self levels beautifully and I think it's more suitable for smaller parts than the Vallejo primer the Vallejo primer is a bit thicker uh, I'm managing uh, to spray this through a 0.2 needle airbrush and they recommend a 0.4 needle or larger so yeah that's how thin this stuff is and also this can be sprayed over quicker than the Vallejo stuff but in terms of doing an actual priming job yeah I don't really have a preference uh, I'm just gonna use this on cockpits and stuff like that and use my Vallejo primer for larger areas uh, with less detail so there's that uh, yeah and that's it really for this update I don't think uh, update for you should be very long um, yeah there's one thing um, let me try and find a part that has this issue yes like that's gonna be difficult to show like the, this part uh, it's very very fragile let me make some room Let's zoom in a bit more you make some more room get that out of the way Oh, there it is, this part. Uh, the plastic is really thin, very fragile, and the gates uh, on the on the sprue there are very, very thick. So yeah, they could have could have done that a bit better. Uh, also, the more substantial parts have a lot of extra uh, gates where the plastic has been put into the mold so there's a lot of cleaning up to do on these parts and with them being so fragile it's it's not always good fun uh, there you go that gate is massive compared to the piece Get it into the shot. Focus camera, please. So yeah, that's that's a downside I found for this kit. It's very nice to build. It takes a long time because of all the little parts you need to put in there. Uh, so yeah, you're waiting on glue to set and stuff like that, but 
I don't mind. I think on the frame alone I've got maybe six hours in in this. It's just uh, the painting and the gluing and stuff. Um, not the waiting time between paints, so yeah. Alright, I shall continue with the build and probably go all the way through to I don't know I don't know Oh, I'll see that So green on green is doesn't really show properly. Mm. Well, this ruins the white balance. Uh, maybe that's too black. With shiny silver, I can try it. <laughs> can you apart? Maybe to show it a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna weather the frame. Uh, I might do uh, some oil stains and stuff like that. But like I said, it's very fragile. And I don't want to break anything off. So far, I've managed to construct it without breaking or bending stuff. So yay for me! So yeah, that's that's the inner frame or the fuselage frame or whatever you want to call it for the Horton HO229 in 148th scale. Right, let me know what you think of these kinds of videos. Uh, it's the first time really I did something like this. And yeah, maybe I need to say more uh, about the kit or the construction or some other things. Maybe I should shut up quicker. <laughs> I don't know. So let me know. Uh, well, the glue hasn't set, so yeah, kind of bent. But uh, let me know in the comments. Um, send me uh, a post on Facebook. Um, you know the usual places uh, thanks very much for watching uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please don't forget to do that I love subscribers and I shall see you in the next video bye take care